to discipline his people? He absolutely does. Do we have only one example of that in all of Scripture? No. No, we've got multiple examples of that over and over again. We see it in the Old Testament. We read it in the New Testament. So whether it's by God's judgment or God's grace, one way or the other, the people who are in office are there because God places them there. Jesus has came so that you would have peace in the cosmos where you live. The thing that threatens your peace is that you'd be too concerned about masks, too concerned about COVID, too concerned about our political situation. No, the good news is the victory is in Christ Jesus Christ, is in the Lord Jesus Christ, and He is our, He is our faith. Hebrews 13, Hebrews 11, 13 through 16. In this chapter of Hebrews 11, we call it the uh, Hall of Faith, and the writer there outlines all these faithful people throughout time. And in that passage, he says this, these all died in faith, not having received the things promised, but having seen them and greeted them from afar, and having acknowledged that they were strangers and exiles on earth. Are there strangers and exiles on earth? Absolutely. Did God have leaders in the middle of those? Absolutely. Some were for him, some were against him, and he raised them both up. For people who speak thus, make it clear that they are seeking a homeland. If they had been thinking of that land from which they had gone out, remember exiles, they would have had the opportunity to return. But as it is, listen to this. In fact, make a mental note of Hebrews 11 and verse 16. But as it is, they desire a better country. That is, a heavenly one. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God. For He has prepared for them a city. Jesus said, I, Jesus said, I will come again. Behold, I have prepared a place for you. And if I have prepared a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. This world is not my home. I'm just a passing through. My treasures are laid up somewhere beyond the blue. The angels beckon me from heaven's open door. And I can't be at home in this cosmos anymore. Guys, girls, Jesus came that we have peace. If we look at the world around us, we're not going to be living in peace. If we look at the world to come, if we trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, if we have Him and hold Him, we need not fear this world. We need to look forward to the world that is to come. Because when it's over here, it's not over there. Let's all stand. If you'd like to receive this kind of faith, you can trust that Jesus' death on the cross he died for you. You can repent of your sin today and have Him and hold Him. And He will hold you through all eternity. If that's you and if that's what you want to do, meet me down front. Come on down. Just come forward and tell me you want to be saved. Tell me you want to repent of your sin. Tell God that you want to live for Him forever.
time on Wednesday night. Come and see what we're doing. Um, any other word? The 22nd, you know, our Thanksgiving service has been canceled uh, for that evening. So no gospel cousins, no Thanksgiving potluck the evening of the 22nd that's been canceled. No? Vic Bullard. Vic, would you dismiss us in prayer, please? Yeah, amen. Yeah, 